Welcome back to the GeoPCs channel, or GeoTech channel should I say. Uh, today we've got a different type of video, and today we are going to be making a video on the MSI Moderna 14 laptop. This type of laptop isn't a gaming laptop yet. I don't know if probably I'll play some games like Roblox if you guys are really interested in that, but it is more for productivity and business use, um, like myself. So, yeah, it's, it's a... Uh, one of MSI's new uh, product line, obviously, with their new logo. Uh, so I'm basically going to be taking you through this laptop, its specs, and what I think it's good and what isn't it good for. So, as you guys know, I have been making plenty of videos on the MacBooks and stuff like that, so I thought I'd go over to the Windows laptop. This is one of my daily driving laptops that I use for business, uh, like website design, invoicing, quoting, emailing, you know, all, all the typical stuff you do as a business. Um, so I've had it now for about, oh god, I don't know, about three months, should I say. Uh, I picked it up for £200 off eBay, brand new. It comes with 16GB of DDR4 RAM at 32,000MHz. It comes with the Intel Core i3 12th Gen. Yes, I know, it's the i3. Yeah, but it does the job for me as a business, so I can't really complain. Uh, it comes with a full metal filmed al aluminium. Alum ah, I can't say the word. Just a full metal filmed aluminium filmed. There you go. It comes with a backlit keyboard, just white, only standard white, but there is plenty of different lighting options from off to the brightest to dimmest. It has 600 nits of brightness, so it's pretty decent. So you, you got the lowest, which doesn't completely turn it off, but it's good for the night. And then obviously it's got the brightest, which is pretty decent as well. I'm only using MSI's website here because, well, I don't want to get copyright for anything else, so, you know. Um, so the trackpad is a haptic, uh, has a, no, sorry. It isn't a haptic engine, sorry. I don't know why I thought, I think I've heard that some of the new laptops are going to have a haptic engine. Um, it's just the normal click trackpad, I guess. I, I don't know, I forgot the name of the uh, these types of trackpads. Um, oh, what is it called now? I'll throw it on the screen now what they are actually called. I've completely forgotten the name of it. Um, so, on one side of the laptop we have a HDMI we do have Thunderbolt 4 so that yeah Thunderbolt 4 it doesn't do obviously you know power delivery so you can't charge it through that unfortunately but you can send um, what is it different things through it like data basically that that's the only good thing it's for I've not used it micro USB there uh, the other side of the laptop, it does have two USB 3.0s, a headphone a head jack, and then on this side we have DC power in, which is one of the blue jack connectors. So on the back of the computer, as you guys can tell, it again it's all metal um, by MSI. Pretty decent, my battery's about to die, so if it cuts off, you know why. Um, and it's, to be honest with you, it's one of the better laptops I have had out of the range of HP and all them lot. I mean, if you really want to go full power into the video editing side of things and for editing, go to Apple or go for a gaming type of laptop where it has more VRAM on the GPUs, better CPUs, better RAM. Then again, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, so I can't really complain. Um, it also has a IPS level... Um, 1080p monitor which does do HDR content which is pretty decent so I can't really complain too much more about anything else on the laptop however we're going to go to the cons so the cons of this laptop the one biggest con I hear about this laptop is the battery it's a 3793 milliamp battery I can bang it on charge and if I'm just watching YouTube, which I do a lot of on this laptop, um, it's it's quite bad to be quite honest with you. I'm actually looking at upgrading the, uh, the laptop, the battery in this to one of the higher end ones, which I can do. The other thing I don't like about it is there is two, 
2 watt speakers in it which means the speakers are very very quiet there's not a lot of bass treble in them they're just your bog standard 4 watt speakers I d I'm, I'm not a big fan of that the screen has a 49% sRGB coverage which is also not the best but luckily it does have a somewhat bright screen so colours will still pop but if you have any picture sensitive work I'd probably try to lay off using this laptop for that reason. I think they're newer laptops that have come out uh, of the series because uh, this is the older one from the brand new ones that have come out. Um, I think they're a lot higher I think. Like these monitors here I've got are both MSI monitors and they cover about 100 and what is it, 110% sRGB coverage on like certain settings on the back of the monitor. Uh, and I think that's what they've implemented in their new IPS screens on their new laptop so if you are looking at colour sensitive work more or less look into their new ones but if you're looking just to run a business or do school work or college work whatever you want to call it this is the best laptop you could probably go for in the price range you could pick up for about 200 to 300 pounds so it's not that bad at all um, this one has a 512 gigabyte SSD and I'll tell you what the boot up time on this is phenomenal I've had so many laptops in the past including obviously Apple's and this one has the fastest boot up time out of all of them so I can't really um, complain too much at all about that. Second I lift up the pan uh, this screen and turn it on it's already booted into Windows 11 just like that so <laughs> it's not bad at all it's got one of the better boot up times definitely. Um, it does use the I forgot the name of their things but the Intel CPUs are these ones, the 12th gens, are one of the on the better side of their um, CPUs, like the 12th gen i5, i3, i7s. That they're all some of the best ones they've done. Hence why they've used them in these laptops and the new ones as well. The keyboard, on the other hand, is very, very good. I can say that it's more. I wouldn't say it's. It is gamer esque, I guess. It's it's got the. It's um, sounds like a modded keyboard. Should I say <laughs> it's very, it's um, it's got that tactile bump in it. Uh, the key travel is, I think, only a one millimeter key travel, so it's not that bad at all. It it is slightly raised, so you can see the lights, but it's very very responsive. The other thing I don't like though about not the keyboard, the keyboard's great. I haven't really got any gripes about the keyboard. Is the actual trackpad? That's what I've gripes about. It's not the best trackpad I've ever used ever on a laptop. Again, that goes to Apple. It always has done with the haptic engines, but it's 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 responsive. It's very quick. It's, again, it's only a 60 hertz panel, so you can't really say too much about how fast you get from point A to point B on the screen. But sometimes it, the clicks don't register as you need them to, and I think that's down to something in uh, underneath here, which makes it click so I'll probably be opening that myself I know it's probably not good for the consumer because you not everyone's a technician and you don't know how to open up laptops and strip them to do certain things but I might open it up and kind of see if the I can either upgrade the trackpad into something a bit better or if I can try and mod it in some sort of way so it's a bit more responsive there probably isn't anything I can do about it because MSI you know uh, you, you do your laptops in a certain way but MSI, if you are watching this right now, I am not trying to put your company down in the floor one bit at all. I'm just being a very honest tech reviewer uh, of your product. Uh, I, I can't really say too much bad. Let me just refocus this. Sorry, everyone. I've realised that's not in focus. Hopefully that's a bit better for everyone. Um, but <laughs> if you send me some more laptops to review, I'll happily review them. And if needs be, send them back to you, obviously, after the review. However, overall of my overall rating let's say out of 10 let's just let's for now mark it out of 10 I'd say it's a solid 9 out of 10 laptop don't get me wrong there is a there is the cons but they're very 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 small cons like this laptop to be honest with you has been running all day off charge it's got 55% remaining and it's got 3 hours and 4 minutes so uh, battery life but it depends what you're doing on the laptop if you're just doing Google Chrome which can suck your battery which I do then fair enough but you know you, you could probably use Internet Explorer or whatever you call it Microsoft Edge is what they call it now isn't it 
you, you probably get a lot more of it because it's more optimised for Windows. But you know, everyone's got their opinions on that. But if you're looking for a budget laptop between 200 and 300 pounds, I think you can pick it up brand new for 350 off Amazon, eBuyer, Box, Scan, all these different companies for about 350 brand new. It's a perfect laptop. It will do everything you need it to do. Um, but if you're looking for photography, video editing type of stuff, look to if you if you loyal to MSI or you want one of their cheaper laptops, still uh, look to their newer versions of this laptop where the sRGB is a bit better and the nits are probably a bit better and more balanced out. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it. I'm sorry if this video hasn't been a help to absolutely everyone. I've kind of, I don't script my videos. I kind of just say it off my head because I feel like it's more, um, more my own proper opinions. I would look more into different other reviews and pull different things out, but I just want to give everyone my honest review of whilst I've been using this laptop and I want to tell everyone else about it. So if you're choosing to buy a product, at least you know what you're getting and what you're not getting. Um, and what can be better and what is good so yeah there's nothing much more I could say about this laptop uh, I will be continuing to use this laptop MSI and my viewers and um, yeah so thanks everyone for watching and hope everyone has a good day see you later gamers